Good morning uh, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our channel, the Asian uh, Mechanic Guy. And for today, uh, this is a continuation of the video that we just made uh, a couple days ago. So basically, this is the part 2. And this is the application part. So if you remember, I show you an, a diagram or illustration that I draw about uh, how your purge your canister in your benzolenoid uh, works and today uh, I will apply that on a real car and I just gonna give you a quick summary of what we talk about or what we discussed uh, last time so basically if you had uh, encounter a encounter a code for your EBAP which is some of this the uh, four zero four five six uh, for a p zero four fifty five p two four two two so i think this one is for the large leak and a small leak and this is for the uh, stuck uh, bent uh, stuck close uh, bent solenoid so if you encounter this kind of uh, code uh, the best way to diagnose it is using a smoke machine so this is our smoke machine so I bought this from from Amazon so this is not sponsored so I just want to show you which one I'm using so the SDT202 smoke leak uh, detector out tool so basically it has a positive and negative cable so it's one wire and then become two so we will just gonna hook up this on the battery right there so we'll just hook up on the battery and then it has actually I already <laughs> test this car so for just illustration purposes so we will gonna do it again so this is where the smoke will come out so it's connected in there over here let me show you here at the back over here there so just plug it on the battery and then the smoke will come out and yeah this is one of the best uh, tools uh, to determine if you have an EBAP leak somewhere in your uh, evaporative system so today i'm gonna show you i will we will gonna do the smoke uh, test for this car and see if there's a leak and as we all know so we usually hook up our uh, smoke machine over here so this is our purge solenoid which is it's normally closed and then we hook up in here so the smoke will go all the way to your the tank and then it will go in here if there's a leak on your gas tank it will show a leak in over here and then it will go on your bent solenoid which is this is uh, normally open so it will go all the way to your canister and then it will go on to the uh, to the air so again this is uh, normally open so we can see a smoke from here but if we see smoke from here in here in here and there must be a, a leak on your system the only time I mean the only place where the smoke will come out is over here not on your canister somewhere in your canister but it's only on this on this hose okay and there shouldn't be also a leak in here also in here on your tank this is sealed so again we will do a smoke machine smoke test we will hook up our machine over here somewhere in here in the connection of your per solenoid so smoke will go here go into your tank this will fill up with the smoke and then the smoke should just come out over here if your uh, system has no leak okay this is just illustro uh, illustration so let's do let's do this and let's go underneath the car 
but I will also show you where we're gonna uh, insert our nozzle for the smoke uh, machine. So mostly try to check where is your purge solenoid and then there's like two connections, one in here and one here. So re just remove this and then hook up this. So the location of our purge solenoids is in here. I already removed the two hoses. So this is the hoses that will go to your engine, to your throttle body. And then this hose will go to your canister, to your bent solenoid, to your gas tank. So this is, let me just show you. So this is your bird solenoid right there. They call it also a vacuum switch pump. So again, it has two, two connection right there. And it has two wire test connection with the two wire. And let me try to unplug it so I could show it to you. One sec, it's we mm -hmm. hold on. There you go. So I already unplug it. Two wire. So one one tall bolt and then the return signal one return signal okay so that's the purge solenoids so let's put it back we're not gonna test that right now today we're just gonna uh, check how to I, I don't mean I'm gonna show you how to check a leak for your EBAP so this is the hose going to your uh, bent solenoid, going to your tank, going to your uh, canister. So we will be uh, hooking up our smoke machine over here. So let's do that. Okay, so let's start our smoke machine. So as you can see, this is our smoke machine. So, I hope you could see the smoke, right there, yeah, you can see the smoke now. Now let's hook it up in here, right there, okay, I hope you could see that. That's on the bird solenoid connection. So now, let's go underneath the car and let's go check where that the smoke will go out. So as you can see in here, we can see it right away, the smoke. So it's coming out from here, right there. So that's the, the hose that I'm talking about a while ago from my illustration. So that's your canister right there. And that's your bent solenoid. And then that's the hose going to your to the environment or to the air. So it seems like this car is working, but actually it's really working. This one has no code. So I just want to show you the illustration that I drew a couple of days ago so that's the, the smoke uh, also if you like open sorry if I if you open this your gas cap you can also see a smoke in here See that it's really hard to see but there's also smoke coming out in here right there you see that so this uh, smoke machine is really good in uh, checking uh, an EBA plate so 
I'm just gonna show you what we did. So we hook up our smoke machine in here. It goes all the way in here. So if there's a leak in here on your gas cap, or your gas cap is very loose, it will uh, show a smoke in here. But as you can see, there's no smoke. But when we open it, of course, our smoke will come out. And then the smoke will, we, we went there to the bent solenoid, to the canister. Okay. I couldn't uh, show you the canister, the whole canister part because it's located on a tight spot. But we did see this hose and the uh, smoke came out from here. Actually, this car has no code for EVAP, just for uh, illustration. That's why I show it to you. So basically this applies to every single car there's some variances but most of the time this system is really the same for every single car so i hope uh, you've learned something today like i said if you had uh, a couple of uh, some code uh, connected to your ebap especially this 456 and 0455 the large leak and small leaks the best thing that you need to do is to use a smoke test this one then smoke it here actually you can if this is uh, if you really want to check uh, a leak you need to like close this one and then try to check if there's a leak coming out from here all the way to here but like i said this car has no leak has no code this car is running good so i'm not gonna show you that anymore this is just a, a demonstration of how to check uh, a leak and yeah so that's it if you had any question any suggestion uh, please comment down below and consider like and subscribe my channel too that's all for today and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.